to really understand how to delay diseases and live longer, and it turns out, guess what, if you're not sick, you tend to live longer. That's what we're all about here. You need to really understand how it works, why it, why it happens in the first place. But really, why does it happen at the nanoscale, at the molecular level? And I think we finally have an answer to why we age. And it's not because of free radicals, and it's not going to be stopped by antioxidants, though that hasn't stopped uh, marketers building a, about $150 billion industry every year. But what's different in, in the book is that, and in my research, is that we've got a new idea about why we age and why we may not have to. Um, so we see aging so often that we take it for granted. And we see it also so often that we, we, we don't even do anything about it. We accept it as a natural way of life. But we don't have to. So this person uh, has been sunburned on one side of their face, as you can see. Uh, and we know that sun damage DNA damage, broken chromosomes make you look older and even accelerate aging. If you have chemotherapy or radiotherapy, you will be, you won't just feel older, your body will literally be older. Uh, and we haven't understood why that is. And the old idea that came out of the 1950s from mostly physicists who were uh, previously working on the Manhattan Project, their idea was that we ran out of genetic information mutations, I'm, I'm sure you've probably all heard of the mutation theory of aging, that we just lose our genetic information. Turns out that's probably wrong. Because we can make mice that have a lot of mutations, and they lose a lot of their genetic information, but they don't age prematurely. And there's a whole body of research now that has made my field essentially throw out the idea that we are aging because of a loss of genetic information. 